Hi, Libra. Hi, kisses. Say hi, kisses, Libra. This is my little one over there. I love you. Always making mommy feel so horrible when mommy isn't focused right on her, but I'm not. You want to know why, Libra? Because this is all about you. Libra, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's get right into it. Remember, we'll do a full oracle card spread here, and then there is a link in the description box below to a full tarot card spread that extends this reading as well as your romantic predictions. These are energies for the next seven days out, for like the week ahead, all right? So for the next seven days out, Libra sun, Libra moon, Libra rising, wherever, wherever Libra, wherever Libra, <laughs> wherever Libra influences your chart, you can apply these energies. Remember, remember, if it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. All right, Libra, let's see what your energies are. Libra, 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 Libra energies for the next seven days. Libra, Libra, Libra energies. Libra, Libra, Libra. Nice. Okay. Flowing right out. This is too much. That's, that's too much. Holy moly. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra energy. Interesting. I want to know what the crowning energy is. All right. Be generous of spirit. See, this isn't about generosity. This is not about generosity. This is about self-respect. This is about dignity. This is about pride. This is about feeling, but not, not the bad pride. It's not the ego. It's about the good pride. It's about that feeling good about who you are. It's about having faith in yourself, believing in yourself, looking in the mirror and saying, damn, honey, how you doing? Hey now. It's about feeling good about who you are. And maybe more importantly, having a direction in your life. And that direction is forward. So you have a firm sense of self this week. It's not going to be difficult for you to know which direction you're headed in or have the confidence to head in that direction. It's not going to be difficult for you to feel good about yourself. The energy, this is your crowning energy. Crowning energy is self. What is the lesson about yourself this week? What is the feel good? What is making you feel good? What is making you happy? And how do you continue to make the choices that continue to do that? How do you continue to support your own direction, your own dreams, your own goals and ambitions, what you want? It's challenging for you to allow yourself to be all that you need. But here you are, you've arrived. And this may be new ground for you, but this feeling of I am all that I need. You could also be dealing with a, a Leo, that's absolutely true, but this is still that sense of who I am and how I feel about myself, crowning your reading. Now is a lucky time. So this is actually still good luck but it's about not noticing where your lucky is so the thing is you're looking in the opposite direction from what these advantages are and you may not realize your blessings in a specific area of your life and that could very well have to do with family you could maybe not realize or have decided recently to turn away from your family, to walk away from them. And I know like, why would anybody do that? You know, for reasons that they were unsupportive, they were hurtful, they were, um, you know, I mean, I hate to say this, but 
Not every family is created equal. And I know we like to stereotype like, they're your family. They should matter. Not all families are built that way, guys. And I feel like there's there could be issues this week that you have decided to side with yourself and to leave people behind, whether or not they're family, to leave them behind because they weren't serving you. So this is about having to find your direction, your way alone. Or it could very well be you looking in the opposite direction from your biggest blessings, from your greatest gifts. Let's see what else the cards come out. Let's see what other cards are coming. Overcome any obstacle. Yeah, you're definitely, this is definitely a situation where you are deciding to side with yourself. That's probably going to be my quote, my, head, my tagline for you guys. You are deciding to side with yourself. And it's a darn good thing that you are because this is a lot of energy. It's protective energy. It's Taurus energy. It's the energy of loving yourself, sticking up for yourself. It's an energy of not giving up, being tenacious, of knowing your beauty and know where the true value lives. And also, you know, dressing yourself up and giving yourself credit this is about finding beauty where it doesn't traditionally live. So it could also be about not seeing the beauty in somebody else, not seeing how lucky you are to have somebody else, or that people in your life did not see how lucky they were to have you, and that is why you decided to move away from them. Now, it takes a lot for a Libra to make this decision, and I know that it was a very traumatic break from your normal decision-making over, I think it was three weeks ago. But essentially, what's going on is a huge change. This is you. This took a lot. This was a big change for you. And maybe it could be, like I'm always going to give you, because this is a general reading, I'll give you other options. So it could very well be that you... It would, it's very different. It would be a big change for you to see. It would be very difficult for you to see the luck that you have because you're not used to looking in that direction. This like, for example, would be somebody really, somebody really wonderful in your life, but you're not noticing them because they're not your type. And yet everything that you want in a companion is in them. It's just this hidden blessing that you haven't discovered yet. So this is, it could be that, it could be that scenario. But I think for most of you, it is deciding to move on and persevere despite the fact that people don't support you, despite the fact that um, they could be your family. Deciding to, to move away, to move away. Very difficult, and there you go, believe in yourself. Believe that the future can be better than the past. This is Virgo energy. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or you could have somebody that is a Virgo in your life or has that nurturing energy to remind you to, to, to remind you how valuable you are, to remind you of your own sense of self-worth. But this is laying the groundwork for a new beginning, a new start. So it could very well be that you're starting over with somebody or or you have the opportunity for a new start, but you haven't taken it yet because you haven't realized it yet. Because you're not, you're looking in the other direction. You're looking in the other direction from something that is more beautiful than you've ever imagined it could be. Because it, nece it isn't necessarily your own type. It doesn't, is it isn't necessarily, um, it's not, it's not where you would normally expect abundance to come from. And yet here it is. But there's also this energy of believing in yourself and walking away from those places that didn't recognize that value in you and believing in yourself. And even though you're just in the beginning, right? The day that we plant the seeds is not the day that we eat the fruit. It took a huge sense of self, sense of self-worth and self-confidence, Libra, for you to make the decision to start this new beginning. But you did it. And it's laying a strong foundation because um, acorns grow oak trees. These are solid, beautiful trees that grow into huge, huge, like, um, <clears throat> yeah, huge life forms, right? Starts from this tiny, tiny, little, tiny seed. 
This is also say, save up, save your coins, save your money, make sure you stock up for winter because there are rough times ahead. They're worth it. They're rough times as in anything that's rough in the beginning. It doesn't mean turn back, but just be prepared for the fact that the day that you plant that seed is not the day that you eat the fruit. So don't feel discouraged. You have to persevere. You can overcome anything including the harshness of winter because you've been smart and you've planted the right seeds and you've stocked up and you've taken care of who you are, right? This is about <clears throat> saving or um, stocking something away for you when you know that other people were taking advantage of you, like having to sort of have a little side saving somewhere when you knew that other people were not going to have your back or would leave you out in the cold. This is preparing for those days. And this could just be you contemplating right now. You contemplating, what do I have to do to get out of this situation? Because it's not working for me. It could be a job. It could be your work. Something isn't working for me. And so now I'm starting to lay the groundwork to make the plans and to, to, to save up whatever I need, including my own energy and my own self-esteem to save my own self-esteem, to get ready and prepare for getting the heck out of there. And to move on or you could have already moved on and this is just a statement of the next seven days nurture that decision that you made believe in yourself you are absolutely choosing you this week once again libra because you need to right and you're laying the foundation for your new life and it looks to be a beautiful life could be more simplistic could be more rustic Definitely you on your own, but something that you believe in this time. Make your dreams real. You know, this is a spider whip card, but it sits at the center of your reading. So what this means is that you really are building a new world for yourself. You could be trying to create a new set of, um, you could be new, trying to network and trying to create new connections new possibilities with different people, people who are different than what you're used to. It doesn't mean they're bad. And I think that that may actually help you out, Libra, is to find somebody who is like, take a chance on people who are different than you. Because when you took a chance on people who you thought were like you, it didn't work out. And it was something that you had to get away from. So take a leap of faith in people who are maybe a little bit strange. Because there could be a great source of abundance and support there. Support that you never would have thought you found. There's also this energy of escaping, escaping somebody's trap. Of this week being able to see that spider web. Instead of walk into it and get caught and get it all stuck. And then have somebody inject their venom into you. And keep you just where they want you. You're trying to get out of that. You don't want to be in somebody else's web anymore. You want to build your own. You want to build your own home and start fresh. So there is this sense of looming, uh, like a looming energy of somebody that definitely wants to keep you where you are. Even when it, especially when it means keep you feeling the way that you used to feel. Keep your sense of self wrapped up in their web. And you really having to make the rough choice of bulldozing your way out of there in order to protect you. You. But there is this energy of maybe some communications coming in or a net trying to be formed in order to set a trap for you so that they can hold you or stop you from leaving or like this would be the energy of imagine it's a job for example this would be the energy of a boss knows that you want to leave that he's heard the rumors right coming to you and saying you know that you're never going to get the same amount of money anywhere else right and besides you have a bonus coming up in March why would you want to leave now they're going to say things that sound really sensical they're going to say things that sound like they're on your side. You know, if you would just come and talk to me about these things, then we wouldn't be here right now. 
you know, if you would just come to therapy with me more often. In fact, how about that? We don't have to break up. We just have to, you know, keep, keep going to counseling. Meanwhile, why don't we try to move back into the same room and see where those things go, see where it goes. And then somebody's trying to whittle you into a pregnancy that you didn't expect. Unexpected pregnancy. It's almost this, this energy of, this energy of be very, stand by yourself. Stand by your own gut. If you stick to your own gut, this is you creating your own world. And starting fresh. And using what you have to cast your images, your dreams into the future. Be actually creating your own reality. And that's beautiful. It's almost like you're weaving the spell for your own life. You're manifesting. But there also is this other unharmonious energy of somebody could be trying to set a trap for you so that you don't, you won't like when I turn the, when I turn the camera around, I'll see, how, I'll show you how the cards are lined up and you can see somebody could be trying to set a trap for you so that you don't move on, that you don't bulldoze away from them or get your new start. So be very careful with that. And the way to avoid that is simply just make yourself number one, like believe in yourself. You can overcome any kind of temptation or trap or pitfall if you just believe in yourself this week and make sure that you and your goals and your feelings are what you put first. That's the secret to your success this week. Ooh, act as if, act as if, and sometimes life stings. Okay, Libra, there is definitely somebody trying to pretend with you. There is somebody definitely trying to set a trap, if you will. Act like, like camouflage, camouflage, so you don't see that this is a trap. Everything's friendly here. Everything's nice. Everything's exactly how you think it is. It's awesome, but then they have their stinger ready. They have their stinger ready. They don't have your, they don't have your best interests at heart. This could definitely be them trying to just suck you back into their world. This is also talking or chatter, um, talking about you. Like make sure that what people are saying it to your face this week, they're actually saying behind your back as well. Because there's this energy of two-facedness. And the way that you'll sort of catch out this ambush predator, you'll call them out, is because you'll see that they say things to your face. And then underneath, you'll see that all of a sudden, but they, this isn't what they, like their actions and their words don't match. That's because they're a bloodsucker. They're just trying to get you. And inject you, what I say? Inject you with whatever it is that will dull your shine so that they, they can keep you where they want you. Like I said, it, this could be work. This could be relationships. This could be, I don't know, like your, your community. I don't, I don't, like it could be applied to any circumstance or situation. Clear out the clutter. Somehow, I think somebody knows that you're wanting to cast them aside and let them go. But you also have this emotional baggage that's making you susceptible to be fooled because like, um, because, because they know that they can pull on those harp strings. Like, like they can, they can pull on those, those strings. They can pull your strings and you feel bad about it and they'll keep you stuck by keeping you burdened or you're keeping yourself burdened, right? This card is saying you need to clear that out. You need to let that go. You need to let that guilt go and you need to let this past connection go. It is not doing anything but, but pretending to be something it's not to keep you stuck where it wants you to be. Well, you have this whole beautiful potential for this wonderful new life that seems like it's really sparse and it seems like it's real Spartan and, and it seems like it's going to be really tough and maybe it will be. But what I know by overcome any obstacle and now is a lucky time is it's a hidden blessing. The roughness of the new beginning 
may seem like it's not good, but it's a blessing in disguise. You don't see these blessings yet. You don't see it. You don't see it. For some of you, for very, very few of you, this could also speak to having fertility problems and working them out or trying to find solutions to them. I would say to you specifically, be very careful for who you go to in terms of your, like if you go to a fertility clinic or something like that, be very careful because there is an energy about this week where somebody is going to pretend they are who they're not. Or they're going to talk a good game and tell you what you want to hear. Oh, you'll definitely, in, within one month of our treatments, you'll get pregnant. And they're charging you $25,000 extra for their treatments. Whereas somebody down the way that's charging the normal price and telling you the truth, this could take up to six months to a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't believe things just because it's what you want to hear this week. Believe in yourself and believe in your path and know that the right path this week especially is going to be the more rugged path. I'm not telling you to intentionally make things more difficult for you, Libra, but there is this energy of somebody trying to make things seem way too good and way too tempting so that they can get their claws into you. So be very, very particular. If you're looking for a service or you're asking for a service or you're trying to make something start, check. Like, just really check to see that the person that you're working with is sincere. There is this energy of going against the grain, of, of not being connected or getting told false messages that are really, you know... The, the person doesn't know as much as they say they are. They, they, they claim to be something that they're not. There is definitely this energy of, of maybe getting bad advice from somebody who has souped themselves up to be something that they're not. I hope this isn't you. That this isn't you that's sort of pretending to be something that they're not. I hope this isn't you. I don't feel like it is and that's why I'm wording it the way that I am. Let me turn the camera around, Libra. I'll be right back. Hold on. So if you don't have, do you see? Crowning your reading is your sense of self. So there is that theme. Three plus seven is also ten. This is the end of a long, hard journey. So there was a, a, it took a while for you to get here. It took a while for you to get your direction back, for you to look forward, and for you to side with you and get a, a strong, firm sense of who you are. But that's the energy, and it's being tested this week. It's being tested. How, how well do you really feel about yourself, Libra? How committed are you to, to staying the course and going the distance? Because if the going gets tough and you back down as soon as it gets tough, or if you start to listen to people who are telling you what you want to hear or making things say, hey, hey, come over this way. It's like Pinocchio with, the, um, with those actors who tempted him in. You know, oh, life will be wonderful. Life will be wonderful. If it sounds too good to be true this week, Libra, it is too good to be true. That's the bottom line. And the way that you'll know is, listen, you just have to stick to your guns and stick to your plan. And you, you'll know if somebody's trying to bring you back or suck you back in or tie you up into an old situation that you know that you don't want to be in anymore. Could be dealing with a Cancerian, could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is definitely Scorpionic energy, but there's also Taurus and Virgo here. I have a feeling if you have a choice between two different lovers, I would choose the earth sign, not the water sign. Because there is this sense of falseness. Whereas over here, there's this sense of you not recognizing how lucky you are. Someone needed to hear that one too. But overall, this energy, the crowning energy is your sense of self, feeling good. Believing in who you are. Wielding your own dreams. Your own world. Knowing that it takes time and a lot of self-sacrifice. And maybe, just maybe, you're feeling disconnected. Their grounding energy is, um, yeah, your grounding energy is 
definitely somebody who is, is this sense of false words or not false words, false sense of ego, false sense of ego. So somebody saying that maybe, maybe that's the message is like, this is the week where you're going to have to fake it till you make it. This sense of I am okay. Even when I'm not okay, I'm going to not pretend that I'm okay, but focus on what I want to be instead of who I am now, because I need to be in the future. I need to keep making progress. I can't go back to where I was. Watch out for false prophets this week. First of all, definitely don't be one yourself. But if somebody makes you an offer that sounds too good, it is too good. They're pretending to be something that they're not. Your way forward, Libra, is the rough road. It is. And as much as that sounds really hard and we, we might be tempted to fall back into what sounds easier, please don't, don't get trapped. You have to keep persevering on this path of building this life that's going to take patience and tenacity and faith. Let's go, um, let's go into tarot. I'm going to extend this reading a little bit, get more into the energy of the decisions and the two choices you might have to make as well as who this is that might be setting the trap will make it a little bit clearer, hopefully. And then I'll also get into your romance reading as well. I'll see you over there, Libra. 